Hey traders, in today's video, I'm going to share with you the pin bar trading strategy. Okay, how are you going to use stop hands to profit? How to identify them and how to actually profit from them? Okay, so in today's video, I'm going to share with you five things. Okay, the first thing that I'll share with you is what a pin bar is. Okay, you probably already know what a pin bar is. Uh, there are a lot of videos that share with you what a pin bar is, but I bet you do not know that there are actually two types of pin bars, okay? And I'm not talking about bearish and bullish pin bars. I'm talking about something different, okay? So you, you definitely want to stick around to find out what these two types of pin bar is because uh, I do not see any of, you know, this concept being taught in other trading videos on YouTube, okay? So, so that's the first thing that I have for you. The second thing would be how not to trade a pin bar, okay? Because I see a lot of uh, traders make this mistake and I would not want you to make this mistake. So I will just point it out to you. Okay, then I'll move on to two questions to answer for high probability uh, pin bar trade. Okay, uh, after I tell you how not to do it, I want to show you how to actually do it. Okay, and then I'll give you some examples of a good one and a bad example so that you can uh, solidify your understanding and uh, use this uh, training strategy in the correct manner. Okay, so let's go into the first part, which is the pin bar. Okay, so just in case you are new to trading and you know you don't really know what pin bar is, this is the first time you are watching our channel or you know first time hearing this uh, concept of a pin bar. Okay, uh, a pin bar looks something like this. Okay, let me draw it for you. Okay, it looks something like this. You have the bullish pin bar and you have the bearish pin bar, okay? So what a pin bar is, is essentially a very long wick, okay? You have this very long wick. Um, so a candlestick consists of uh, four things. You have the open, okay, the open, then you have the close, and then you have the high and the low, okay? Uh, when you see a black candle like this, this means it's a bearish candle. That also means that the opening price is higher than the closing price. Okay, if you see a bullish candle, then uh, the opposite is true. Then the opening price would be here and the closing price would be here. Okay, but the high will still be the highest point and the low will still be the lowest point. Okay, so this is a quick crash course about what a pin bar is. Okay, if you are new, we cover this in greater detail in some of our other videos as well as our free day trading guide. So make sure you check that out. Make sure you download a copy of that if you have not. Okay, so in a pin bar setup, okay, it, it honestly doesn't matter whether it's a bullish uh, candle, uh, in this case, it's a bearish candle or a bullish candle, it doesn't matter, okay? What you're looking for is a very tight body, tight candle body, and a very long wick, okay? This wick, okay? So if you're looking for a bearish pin bar, then you have a very long upper wick. If you're looking for a bullish pin bar, then you're looking for a long lower wick, okay? So what does a pin bar shows? A pin bar shows a strong rejection or a flash of stop losses. Okay, this is very important. Okay, I'll show you examples. A lot of uh, YouTube videos out there or a lot of traders, uh, educators just tell you that it's, a, it's just a rejection of a level. Okay, that's only half the equation. Okay, that's, that happens some of the time. But the other pattern that you're missing out is that um, this is also a flash of stop losses. Okay, so let me show you some examples. Okay, so this is the first type of a pin bar. Okay, it's a rejection of strong levels. Okay, this is the usual textbook example that uh, you can get anywhere. Okay, if you read a, a you know, candlestick pattern book or you watch other YouTube videos on, uh, you know, here, this, this platform, uh, you will see that a lot of people share with you this, okay? Uh, you just wait for the uh, rejection of the, uh, the key support. Okay, in this case, the green line is the support. Uh, this green line is the resistance, then, uh, you know, once you see this, this is sort of your confirmation that uh, this level is strong, and then you enter on the close of the uh, pin bar, okay? So this is how uh, most people identify it, and uh, there's nothing wrong with this. This is correct, okay? But uh, this is only one type of pin bar, okay? They do not tell you about the other type of pin bar, which uh, uh, personally I prefer, okay? Because it's a flash of stops, okay? So let me just show you this first, a, uh, a chart of uh, what a rejection of strong level looks like. So uh, if you can see over here, okay, this candle over here, uh, if you look left, uh, actually this was a pin bar before. Okay, in fact, you can see some form of market structure here. Okay, come back, there's a pin bar. Uh, there's another pin bar here and uh, this pin bar here. Okay, so this is a classic uh, pin bar trade. 
meaning that uh, it's just a reject rejection of a strong uh, support level. Okay, so it's very straightforward. This is what most people do. Okay, but let me show you the other one. Okay, the other one is what I call the flush of a support and resistance level. Okay, this is when your, your support is actually somewhere here. Okay, but price went all the way down to flush out the stop losses. Okay, because a lot of people, they see this as a support. Okay, let me just draw it. Okay, a lot of people see this as support. So uh, they put their stop losses here, 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 and you know, just below the support. So what the market do is that it purposely drives price down to stop you out. And then after that, it goes back. Okay, so this is also very, very similar to the Forex uh, strat strategy that I talked about in the previous video. Okay, uh, the Forex uh, master pattern. Okay, you can check that video out after this uh, if you do not know what I'm talking about. Okay, so basically this is the second type of pin bar is a flush of a support and resistance level. So in a bearish case, it's the same thing. This is your resistance level and what happens is that price uh, just comes up, takes out the stop loss and then goes back down. Okay. So let me show you uh, how it looks like, okay? So in this case, uh, I have a chart here, okay? And uh, if you see, this is actually the uh, resist resistance level, okay? But rather than price making, you know, some form of rejection, you know, some form of pin bar of this level, which is the usual pin bar setup, okay? What price did was that it actually went above, okay? In fact, if you look at this uh, candle over here, it actually closed above the... Uh, this, this point here, okay? So it closed above and then it had a flash of stops, okay? So whoever who put, um, whoever who put their stop losses above this level over here, okay? Uh, they will have lost money, okay? So this is the flash of support uh, slash resistance pin bar setup, okay? And this is my personal favorite. I pre prefer to trade it this way because I know that the institutional players are in, right? They are in to uh, put their orders here. Right, because uh, when you're getting stop out, they're actually getting in. So I prefer this uh, pin bar over um, the previous one, which is just a rejection of the strong level. Okay, now I'm not saying that uh, this rejection of strong level doesn't work. Uh, it can still work, but uh, personally, um, you want to focus more on this flash of a support and resistance level. Okay, so this is uh, what a pin bar is and uh, the two types. Okay, now let's move on to how not to trade a pin bar. Okay, so a lot of traders watch videos like this and they say, oh, pin bar is such an amazing concept, right? You understand it and you try to apply it, okay? Except that you apply it in the wrong way, okay? So what do traders do? Uh, they, they, they see a chart like that and then they see a pin bar here, you know, they buy. They see a pin bar here, they buy. They see another pin bar here, they buy. They see a pin bar here and buy. And they keep losing money, right? And then they say, oh, pin bar doesn't work. You know, these videos are rubbish. Now, the truth is not that it doesn't work. It's just that you're applying it wrongly, okay? Please, 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 do not blindly trade every single pin bar, okay? A lot of new rookie traders, that's what they do. They see every single pin bar and they use this pin bar and they trade, they trade, they trade, they trade, they trade and they keep losing money, okay? Trading is not so simple, okay? Uh, you have the entire chart to analyze. Why are you trying to use a single candle to predict the direction of the market? Okay, it doesn't make sense. Okay, you have the whole entire market structure to make a good decision about whether to buy or sell and when to do it. Why are you only using one, you know, one candle? Okay, it's like let's say you have an exam to study for, and you know you have an entire textbook of uh, five hundred pages of content that will be tested, but you are only choosing to study five pages or even one page. It just doesn't make sense, okay? So please do not blindly trade every single pin bar, okay? So this is how not to do it. Now let me show you how to do it, okay? Basically, you need to ask yourself two questions. If you want to find a high probability pin bar trade, uh, you need to ask yourself two questions, okay? Actually, I go more into that in... Uh, our free day trading guide. So the links in the description, check that out if you have not. Okay, uh, in fact, in the uh, day trading guide, we teach you the MPE strategy. Okay, uh, I won't go through that in this video because you can just download it and you just read the guide. Okay, but the first question you want to ask yourself is what is the market condition? Okay, so there are only two kinds of market condition. Okay, you have the ranging, okay, range, or you have the trend. Okay, whether it's uptrend or downtrend, I just classify it as a trend. Okay, so you, you have to ask yourself first, when you look at a chart, ask yourself, what is the market condition? Okay, is it 
ranging or is it in a trend? Okay, because if you are ranging, then you want to buy a pin bars of support and sell pin bars of resistance. Okay, if you are in an uptrend, you do not want to be selling pin bars of resistance. Okay, this is very important. You only want to be buying pin bars of support. Okay, the same is also true for the downtrend. If the, the market condition is a downtrend, then you want to be selling pin bars of resistance. Okay, not pin, not buying pin bars of support. Okay, that's how uh, you apply the pin bar strategy. Okay, so that's the first question. The second question is uh, what I just covered just now. Is there a strong rejection of a key level or a flush of a level? Okay, ideally, I prefer to stick to the second one, which is a flush of a level. If I see a flush of level, uh, especially if you know it happens during the euro trading zone timing or the US session, then I would love to take setups like this. Okay, so let me show you uh, what's a good pin bar setup. Okay, now before, you know, before I go into this, maybe you want to pause this video and ask yourself, why is this a good trade setup? Okay, why is this a good pin bar setup? Try to, you know, figure it out on your own. Okay, so hopefully you done that. Hopefully you pause the video. Let me explain to you why this is a good pin bar setup. Okay, remember our first question is, what is the market condition? So in this case, the market condition is a very clear uptrend. Okay, why is it uptrend? You have a high, Okay, you have a low, you have a higher high, and this is a higher low. Okay, so it's very straightforward. It's an uptrend. Okay, again, if you need help on identifying how the uptrend is, we have a lot of trading videos such as this to, to teach you that. Uh, the day trading guide also has information on this. So make sure you check that out. Okay, so it's in the uptrend. Uh, first question is answered. Okay, Q1 is answered. Now let's answer question two. Is there a pin bar of a key support level? Okay, so in this case, uh, this example here, there is, because if you look left, if you look left, okay, um, let me just clear this and draw it clearer. Okay, uh, over here, if you look left, uh, it's actually, there's actually a nice level here. And if you further draw it, you will see something like this. Okay, so that is a very strong level. So if you are buying a pin bar on a good support level in an uptrend, uh, it's a good thing to do. It's a good trade setup. Okay, in fact, it's a no-brainer. Okay, that's what you should be doing. Okay, you don't want to be selling this. Okay, you don't want to be selling this because you're in an uptrend. Okay, this is a counter trend trade. It's a very low probability trade. Okay, in this case, it worked out, but uh, you please do not uh, you know, have the expectation that uh, if I sell it, then I, I'll most of the time I'll make money, okay, because you are in an uptrend, okay. Your highest probability is going to be when you trade with the market condition, which is an uptrend in this scenario, okay. So let's go through a uh, bad, uh, sorry, this is the bad uh, pin, pin bar setup, okay. I, I didn't manage to change this, but uh, just, just take note of this. This is not good, okay. It's bad, sorry for that, I apologize, okay. But in this case, okay, uh, try to understand why is this a bad pin bar setup. Okay, maybe you want to pause this video. Okay, so let me explain why this is a bad pin bar setup. Okay, same thing. You have a low, you have a high, okay, you have a higher low. Okay, so uh, you are actually in a uptrend. Okay, very simple, very uptrend. So you're in uptrend, so in uptrend, what do you want to do? You want to buy off support. Okay, now I highlighted this pin bar over here, which is actually a pin bar of a resistance level. Okay. So the question is, do you sell there? The answer is no, because you are in a uptrend. Okay, so you only want to buy. Okay, in fact, if you are sharp enough, you, you realize that there's also a form of pin bar over here. Okay, there's a pin bar over here. And uh, this pin bar, actually, um, let me just clear it. Okay, this pin bar is actually a good, a good, good setup here. Okay, because uh, if you look left, it actually went below this this level, this uh, three bar low, okay? So in a sense, this is kind of a mini flush of a level, okay? It, it's kind of like this one here. Uh, th this case, this one over here, okay? It's not that clear, but in that case, it's actually this one, okay? So if you were sharp, you would have taken that trade, but uh, if you were not sharp, you know, it's fine. All right, the, the main point is that uh, you shouldn't be shorting this, okay? You shouldn't be making the mistake that I highlighted, which is, you know, trade every single pin bar, right? Without consider considering the market context, okay? That's not what you want to be doing, okay? So that's, that's an example of a bad pin, uh, pin bar setup, 
Okay, so just a recap, okay, I talk about uh, what a pin bar is, I talk about the two types, uh, one is a rejection of a strong level, the other is actually a flush of a uh, support resistance level, okay. I also show you how not to trade a pin bar, okay, hopefully after this video you will not make this mistake, okay, do not blindly trade every single pin bar without considering the market context, okay. I also talk about two questions to answer, which is basically uh, ask yourself, uh, what's the market condition, is there a trend, is it consolidating? And uh, is there a pin bar set up uh, of that is in alignment with the uh, market condition? Okay, then I also showed you the example of a good pin bar setup as well as an example of a bad pin bar setup. Okay, so I've come to the end on, of this video. Thanks for watching. You, if you have any questions, just leave a comment down below. Please give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Right, hit the subscribe button because we create a lot of content so that you know you don't have to invest thousands of dollars into your education. Okay, we are doing everything in our power to create content like this. You know, lessons that we paid thousands of dollars to learn to help you. Okay, and all this is all available for free. Okay, so make sure you just subscribe. Okay, so that you won't miss a video from us. Okay, if not, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.